and we're gonna try to walk barefoot around town. I've been in your world. Welcome back. Now you might be wondering why we're always filming inside the van. Well, we're using this technique so that maybe if we're not in the safest places, we don't have to be setting up the camera outside all the time. So we find that it works best. We're in the laid back town of San Pancho. It's on mainland Mexico, about an hour drive from Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> we're currently road trekking from Alaska all the way to Argentina. Literally in a road truck. You like that? <laughs> yeah. Today we're testing ourselves and trying to go barefoot like the locals. because it makes us uncomfortable and we want to understand what we might be missing. My guess is about half of the locals are barefoot here. You see them riding bikes, skateboarding even, barefoot. At the grocery store. At the coffee sitting shops. Sitting at the restaurant. You get the idea. Now in last week's video, we asked you who would do better at this barefoot test. Me or Jay. And here's how it went. Bringing a backpack or no? Yes, we have to go grocery shopping. Okay. Oh yeah, we need eggs today. So yeah. we're gonna bring the egg crate with us. Yeah. Water, cause it's so hot. And what about band-aids? <laughs> if you want. Maybe, right? It's up to you. I'll bring two. You probably already have band-aids in here. No, there's just one in there. Dude, here's one. Here's an emergency stick of gum. This there's always an emergency, look at this. Emergency lip balm. We got an emergency Here. hair tie. Antibacterial. Oh yeah. Extra large. Tickets you need there. that, what if you start bleeding? We then, should almost put these on the bottoms of our heels. <laughs> That's gonna defeat the purpose though, huh? Yeah. Okay, here's two. Oh wow, you're really expecting the worst here. Made to muscle through, that's what it says. We haven't even taken a step yet and Jay's already complaining. That's where we're at. He's saying it's hot. Dude, the ground is hot. Oh man. So we're, we're trying to navigate whether we're gonna take the, oh, I'm the not court. Oh yeah. Or the gravel mm. road. I'm taking the road. <laughs> I'm gonna take the court. That's where all the dog sh I should have taken the road. Bruce. Watch out for dogs. I gotta stand in the shade of this car. <laughs> My feet are burning.
did our own research about the advantages and disadvantages of going barefoot. And we didn't tell each other what we discovered or what we found in the research. So this should be fun. Yeah, so we're gonna share what we found out right here on camera. I'll go first. I'll tell you the pros. Nine surprising barefoot walking benefits and reasons why it will change your life forever. I agree. Okay. It can improve your balance. It makes your feet stronger. Yeah, if you're wearing shoes all the time, your feet just, they don't get to have the full range of motion. Reduces the risk of injury and inflammation. Still going good. It boosts your mood, reduces stress. And it improves mood. your sleep. What? Yep. I, I think I need to start walking barefoot more often. You should. I should. That'd be hot. <laughs> so you got to get in bed at night. Oh, uh, you're scrubbing those dogs off before you yeah, get in bed. The, yeah. Baby wipes do not do it sometimes. Oh, no. no. You're going to get the stiff bristle brush and like get in there in like a soaking pan with bleach and water and soap. Man. All right, let's hear more benefits. Burns more calories and increases flexibility. Yeah, this is sounding better and better. I mean, I think we have to continue this barefoot trend. Don't get too far ahead of yourself because okay, I, I got my stuff here too. Yeah, the range of foot muscles. Hold on. There's got to be more. Hold on. This is becoming a competition here. Wow. You get a connection with the earth. <laughs> no, but hold on. Okay. Hold on. Walking barefoot has been found to be a reduction in white blood cells, an increase in red blood cells, which hints to better immunity. You know, this is something I think we might have been missing out on. Little by little, piece by piece, I take back what's been stolen from me. Little by little, piece by piece, until I Decent. You don't have to get that close. No one wants to really see. Or you just don't want people to really see. Oh, that one's a little dirtier. Great. They have baños, limpios, clean baños. Oh yeah. You gonna you gonna do try that? No. No. I got my eyes on you. Massive. And you got no clue. Look at that. What I'm supposed to do, I can't help wow. myself. Little by little, pinch by piece. I take it back what's been stolen from me. We 
we just saw a dog steal a sandal from the drummers. Yeah, and then he went and ran and hid in this vacant lot, <laughs> and he's gonna go chew that thing up. Crazy. Oh, there he is. <gasps> Where'd you put Look it? Dog it. but no shoe. Where'd you Where's put the it? Shoe? Don't Where's your toy? The pato? Mira, mira. Where's your shoes? Go get the shoe. <gasps> go get the shoe. <laughs> Well, what are you doing? You know you're in trouble, don't you? That's the truth. You know you're in trouble. Aww. Oh, you're that's cute. A, that's a woof. You know you're busted. You're in trouble. Oh, that feels so good. Oh my god. This is the best surface we've walked on yet. Oh. Man. <laughs> Your feet feeling stronger? Dude, they feel so good right now. It's yeah, like, this floor is nice. The best like surface yet. Walking in the house. Those are some valid points you made. They there. are. I mean, that's a lot. And they're saying, I mean, there's a science behind it. You're going to go art... get all scientific on me now? <laughs> yeah, the art of being barefoot to pick up electrons from the bare earth, often described as earthing or grounding. Being barefoot can even reduce pain levels. How did we not know this before? Yeah, except when you step on a piece of glass, how does that reduce your pain level? Yeah, it, this is this is by far the worst right here. Ah. Oh, no. ah. Dude, these things. Yeah. It's like little needles. So that's just a little bit. It's that that's just a hint at the benefits that you can get. All right, let's go to the grocery store. Keep talking good, keep talking sweet, keep sugar raw, baby. I got you good, I got you sweet, got you on hold, my baby. saw we were wearing no shoes and he's like these guys are locals it worked we're blending in all right let me tell you my benefits list here hold on you got like a hair like a hair on your nose i don't know what it's from it's probably growing there no it's not growing there oh. all right you ready yeah okay it accelerates the formation of bunions hammer toe and shin splints now, there is nothing sexier than the word hammer toe. Oh my God. I'm just going to start throwing that in there, random conversations, just to see. I don't even know what that is. We should, like, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to find you guys in Dude, image I'm gonna, so we can know what this hammer toe is because I need to look this Later up. on, I'm going to give you a. Oh, it's so hot. It's a little toasty. It's a little bit hot right. in here. What we're dealing with, while he's doing his extra research there, it's about like 90 degrees in this van right now with humidity. But it feels great. Yeah, that's what we're telling ourselves. Some people actually positivity. go and pay good money for this sort of environment that we're in right now. They do. Yeah, they'll, they'll buy a sauna, put it at their house, just so that <laughs> they can sweat out all the toxins like we're doing right now. That's true. So yeah, we got our free we're sauna get, here. We're getting it for free. Yeah. All right. This is the fun part right here. I'm going to just read it because it'll be better that way. Okay. okay. And I have not heard any of this yet. I don't know any of the cons. So you're hearing and it with me right now here. This one, it is going to, it applies to our situation to a T here. I don't know how I found this, but I did. Going without shoes in areas without proper disposal methods of animal and human waste makes people susceptible to parasitic worms and other foot infections. These diseases can be debilitating or even lethal. Going barefoot puts humans at risk for hookworm, tick bites, and injuries. I 
guess we should have read all this before we went out today. That's why I didn't tell you that before we went out. Because if I gave you that little bit of tidbit of information right there, it would have been we, game it never over. Never would have happened. Nope. You would have been like, nope, scratch that, forget it, we're not doing it. Look at that tan. You got a nice tan line. And the Starlink scar is looking good. Oh, look at they're all coming. Jay's allergic to cats. Okay. So you want to go bleach your feet now? So why is that? Why in life, I mean, everything, there's always a pro and a con. That's why I think in life you can never really do wrong necessarily because, or maybe you can never do right. Which one is it? You can never do right. It's both. It's both. Yep. All right. I got a question for you. Do you think you could go barefoot? It's harder than you think. Just get outside and try it even just for a little bit. Go for a short walk down the driveway, around the block, or go to town. It did say to, to get the health benefits for the pro list, 30 minutes, 30 minutes a day. Even, I guess, even if you're just gonna walk on your lawn, do it for 30 minutes and see if it changes anything within you. <laughs> Try it out, let us know. Maybe you can sleep better, at least for one night, and I think that's worth it. Make sure you pick up the dog poop off your lawn first. <laughs> Thank you again for watching these videos. We really enjoy making them. <laughs> and uh, who knows where we're gonna be next week. We're either still gonna stay or we're gonna stray on to the next town, which is completely unknown. Originally, I was the one that came up with this ridiculous idea to walk around town barefoot in Mexico. <laughs> Mostly because I feel like I couldn't do it. I feel like I've walked a mile. Yeah. With bare feet. I might regret it tonight. Dude. 6,082 steps, 2.37 miles. I for surely thought that I was gonna be the one. He has that such sensitive feet. Walk, I yeah, don't know. that walked right back to the van and was like, no, uh, 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 we're not doing this. Yeah. So I'm really proud of him. Well, thanks, babe. Yeah. Yeah, I know it takes a lot. It takes a lot to do something that you're afraid of. Did you just hit your head? Yeah, but that's right. Did you just hit your head? Okay. I hit my head all the time. Why? Because it make a recycle on the court. He's out. Oh, I don't think I can do it. Oh, he's he's so cute. Dirty. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's a lot. Hold on. Soulforafricanchild.org. Wow. What's that? Soul for Africa. This is where I'm getting the information. Oh. No, you're getting like a stiff bristle brush and like getting in. Okay. Hi. What are you doing? Look at you. How cute are you? I don't know if you're right. I don't need to put shoes on, so I'm ready to go. Oh, yeah, me too. I mean, that's one benefit already. Totally. Don't even have to think about what shoes to wear. <laughs> Winning. I struggle with that every day. <laughs> I think the bottom of my feet are burned. Yeah, so but next time you run into run into us, maybe Jay's gonna have his shoes off. Yeah, I might be barefoot with dreadlocks or a long ponytail or something. Oh my God. Man, something hurt walking across that right there. Oh, you walking got some fun there. stuff there. You step in gum? I don't know. 